Hi, it's John. I'm down the allotment. It's the ooh, 30th of May 2014. And uh, we got the little Kabutu tractor come in with the topper on to uh, knock everything down. Um, I mean, it's got to be done because people worry about the weed seeds flying about. We have got certain little bits of nature areas which I've told him not to do, like um, about this bit here. We've got some clover and lady smock. Um, wonderful machine. It's 40 years old apparently. But uh, you can see it's got some work to do. Uh, about five foot high. <laughs> Just see his head over the top of it. <laughs> mm. Anyway, he's done it several times before, so. Uh, so, uh, I don't think there's going to be any trouble. <laughs> but um, it, it's very reasonable. Amazing machine they could boot to. I think they're fairly small horsepower, but they're built like a normal tractor. They're not built like a, a, a lawnmower. And uh, so they've got um, a, a tremendous amount of sort of welly, of torque. I've never quite understood torque, torque be horsepower, but uh, they really do work. Some may ask, how's the allotment going? Well, the uh, juice the artichokes are, are coming up nicely all over the place. So I'm just going to let them be. It's all going to be a bit of a wild farming this year. And um, had runners and we potted them up. Uh, two types of euphorbia. It's that lovely, lovely one there, which may be uh, the one I called um, whatever it was last week. <laughs> and then the, the red one, which is something like firecrest. And um, this is a bit more difficult to grow, I think. That's going all right. Uh, that's uh, Campion in there and Honesty type flower. I'm not sure whether that is Honesty. And then look at that bush, that red bush at the back. It's really flaming, isn't it? And the bees are all on there. Uh, black currants and the column apple tree. Doesn't look like it's got any apples on this year. <laughs> Don't mind. The onions, um, they're doing really well. Uh, at the back there, strawberries and the um, blueberries doing okay. Raspberries, here they are, doing their own thing. I didn't get round to pruning them this year, so we'll be having some <laughs> early raspberries rather than autumn raspberries. But hopefully there'll be some in the autumn as well. Plenty of horseradish. Uh, there's a parsnip which has gone to seed, fox love, and the globe artichokes, we've been eating globe artichokes, I suppose we've had about a dozen, and they're just um, coming up now, they're not very big this year, but uh, eat them young and they're, they're very tasty. The old kabutu has done its job, look at that. Knocked it down about four or five feet tall for this mush. Um, I'm hoping that we might get some sunshine. I might get some, some hay off of this. But the uh, topper, some way, it sort of mulches it in such a way that it uh, means that it, it seems to go back into the ground more than it would if it was mown. We're leaving this uh, big marsh area here as a land for nature. I mean, obviously, the tractor wouldn't want to get in there anyway. That bit of comfrey that's in the middle there, I just chucked that in. Uh, I, I, I had a bit spare or something I wanted to get rid of, so I put, chucked it in there and it's um, done well. It's got a lot of that apple mint here. Smells nice. It 
YouTube but smells on YouTube. I was talking the other day about the succession of flowerings you get in the hedgerow and in the verge. Now this is meadow sweet. Now this has come up since this allotment has been sprayed off. And uh, it looks like it must be quite a resilient root on a meadow sweet. But it's a plant which is rather fascinating to me. Um, and it is a late flowering plant in the summer. Uh, and it does have a particular smell. You can you can use it in herbal remedies and wines and things. A rather musky smell. Not unpleasant. Cool, look at that slug damage on those potatoes. I'm saying it's slug damage. Hopefully I've got Colorado beetle. Amazing. I had some last year or the year before and they were obliterated by slugs. Look, they've got on that one. But that middle one, they haven't touched it. Oops, there's a kabutu up there and a driver somewhere. That's nearly over his head. That's the cow parsley. Mainly cow parsley, cow parsley docks. That's the back of my fruit, soft fruit allotment that is. <laughs> 